Fitness fanatic Rick DeMichael is suffering from a mysterious fever. So at the ER, the doctor gives me a physical examination, takes my temperature, asks me some questions. And while he's in the ER, Rick notices another symptom. I'm also feeling a slight pain in my side, very slight. When I take a deep breath, it gets a little bit worse. The doctor gives me an EKG just to make sure it isn't my heart. Once that's ruled out, we're not really sure what this is. After returning from the ER for that weekend, the symptoms basically intensify. I'm having pretty severe chills. I'm shaking at times uncontrollably. The doctor calls my wife and I in. We sit down in front of him, and he looks at me, and he says, based on the blood analysis, you've got babesiosis. I'd never heard of it before, never heard of babesiosis before. Babesiosis has the potential to be fatal. The babesia infects human red blood cells, causes them to break down. In that process, the patient typically goes through high fevers and chills, may have an enlarged spleen, they may become very acutely ill and dangerously ill with it. Babesia parasites enter the bloodstream and then they hide in the red blood cells, devouring them from the inside. The parasite feeds inside the red blood cell, reproduces, and then bursts out into the bloodstream. The pain in my side is getting worse. But how did this parasite get into Rick's bloodstream? The Babesia organism is transmitted by a tick bite. The tick is a tiny arachnid that lives in wooded areas. It survives by sucking the blood of mammals. Most likely, I got it in the woods. I run several times a week in the woods, and I probably brushed up against some grass and picked up a tick that way. In a patient who is desperately ill with babesiosis, uh, there is the potential of dying. And you have to be aggressive about going after finding it and treating them. <laughs>